Hello my loves, how are you doing today? I hope that you're good, that your family and your loved ones are healthy, happy and safe. So I'm coming back to you today with another pick a card reading. And in this reading you have three options to choose from. You can pick one option or more. The ones that are going to be drawing your attention the most. And of course if you would need more time, you can just pause the video, meditate on those options and see which one or which ones are going to be today yours to watch. As for me, I'm gonna start right away with the first option. Hello my dear option number one, so if you have chosen the first option or the picture of the cloud, welcome guys to your reading. So let's look into what kind of men do you attract and I would like to know exactly the types of men that you attract right now as you are watching this reading. This is a timeless reading and of course if there is also any advice, if there is other things that you need to do or maybe to consider if you would like maybe to uh, change something about that or maybe to improve on the quality of people that you are attracting. So let's start right away by looking into the energy of the people that you are attracting right now, more specifically men. So I really feel like when it comes to you, you are attracting people that are um hard workers first of all in terms of their qualities they are very much hard workers they are people really that would like to get whatever they would like to get by any means possible i'm hearing so they could be it could be that there are some people that you have met that were a little bit ruthless or that really um have neglected maybe certain uh, of their principles just to get whatever they would like to go i really feel like um the type of men that you are attracting uh right now as you are watching this reading are i'm um, very ruthlessly ambitious so very very ambitious people that would like to elevate themselves people that would like to uh i'm hearing develop in terms also of their money on terms of their resources they would like to be uh the, the thing that i'm hearing like very clearly is like the uh podcast kind of guys uh, like people really that listen to um maybe uh what it's like to be a high quality man what it's like to be a high achiever what it's like to be chased by other women i really feel like in terms of your um people that are attracted towards you are people that would like maybe to be uh, the alpha in the relationship but not really in a healthy way uh, I'm gonna look into the healthiest part of this uh, because I really feel like when it comes to you, my dear option number one, there is um, a need uh, for selection. I, I really feel like when it comes to you, you have great potential to have absolutely amazing partners, but I really feel like they are in the midst of a crowd that are really misled. This is what I'm hearing. They are very much misled. Uh, they have the power, they have the determination, the perseverance, they are hard workers, but some of them are misled. They are uh, going about achieving their dreams in a way that is not really sustainable and it's not helping them really to achieve greatness in their lives as much as they are imagine or in the way that they are imagining it, it, it to be. <laughs> so the second thing that I'm hearing is that... Uh, when it comes to you, like people, they see you very much as a compliment in terms of the relationship that they would like to be in. Like people, especially men, again, we're going back to the main question, which is like men. But I really feel like generally speaking, you might also like attract towards your like friendships that are more masculine. I really feel like whether you feel within you that it is true or not, I feel like you are emanating a very beautiful and a very serene feminine energy. And that's why I really feel like masculines that are in the developing phases or that are really m have mastered or maybe have uh, I'm hearing uh, they understood how to utilize their masculinity in a way that is uh, safer for them safer for people around them safer for the community it's um, those kind of men really find you very attractive and they are attracted towards you and what I see in here is that when it comes to you, first of all, I just would like to let you know that you are emanating a good energy to uh, match a beautiful, strong, masculine one. And the second thing that I see in here is that the only thing that I feel like when it comes to you is to strengthen your powers of asser um, assertion. Because I really feel like when it comes to you, uh, you need to really select very, very well. You need to select people. I feel like when it comes to people that are coming towards you or have uh, approached you, generally speaking, it's not that they are not good candidates, but you really need to see, you really need to determine which one or 
which are the people that are going to be good for you and on which basis so let's get some more cards about the people uh, i don't know why i said some more cards but let's get some cards when it comes to the people that you are attracting men that you are attracting yeah they wanted to give you their love on a platter they want to serve you they want to be with you they want to um yeah. i'm having to embrace your femininity yeah and the only thing that i see in here is that the, uh, for you to determine really who are the people that are good for you or not because this energy is good i just want to let you know that especially the, the one that you are emanating is very very good but in here the only thing that is uh, coming in here through the cards is take your time don't feel in the haste H like look at uh, um, speed haste and uh, being too fast as the contrary of what uh, is going to be taking you exactly where you want to go so please take your time vet people vet people allow yourself to connect with others on the right basis and see if they are good for you for the long run and if there is any source of um, i'm hearing dysfunctional uh, masculine yeah dysfunctional masculine energy that you're gonna detect take it seriously because i really feel like you, you're gonna have the potential or at least right now you have the potential to really meet a very wonderful partner that is gonna be absolutely matching your beautiful feminine energy yeah the sun yeah this is very good guys and i just want to congratulate you yeah seven of swords at the bottom of the deck when it comes to the work that you have done on yourself the only thing that i see in here and you might be in different level depending on who is watching the reading is to i'm hearing uh see an option as an option don't see it as an end goal the only end goal that you might be perceived is someone that you're gonna know get to know people i really feel like when it comes to you you might develop expectations very early on in the connection even if you have a crush on someone you might develop certain expectations on them but the cars are telling you to slow down this is the only thing that i see because if you're gonna slow down it's gonna be very clear who is this masculine very very clear <laughs> it's not, it's not going to be a surprise uh, at all so please slow down look at, into how people behave in terms of people that um, as an example if you go to a restaurant yeah beauty if you go to a restaurant how they behave with the staff how they behave with the people that are serving the both of you how do they behave generally speaking with how did they, how, uh, how did they talk about their family people that are close to them their loved ones use your mind and uh, use your intelligence i know that you are a very intelligent person but i really also feel like when it comes to you this feminine energy can take you a little bit into the dream side of this energy which is very understandable but i really feel like you need to be a little bit more down to earth when it comes to selecting the right person for you with this beauty i'm hearing keep focusing on you keep focusing on you you're doing a great job i also feel like there's a great elevation that you're going to be experiencing in many aspects of your life and also if you feel like oh i'm just dabbling in the mud with people that i really feel like they are not good for me the more that you're going to be actually selecting and allowing yourself to be the one that is picking out of the bunch the better the choices are going to be for you all right so let's get some more cards candles Romanticize yourself, romanticize your life. Compliment. This is the energy of your love life, all in all. You are the compliment of someone else, a very special person. And the only thing that is needed from your side, again, is to have great powers of determination and really practice saying no. Practice saying no. Practice going out on a date and not feel obligated to go on a second date if you feel like, okay, this is dead. Like, I see that this person, they have behaved very badly with this kind in this kind of a situation. Or uh, I see that, okay, there is no future for the both of us. Say no. Practice saying no. Here we have the magician and the nine of cups i also feel like the more that you're going to focus on your own happiness your person is coming towards you they're going to perceive you first 
I don't know why this is uh, transformed into a love reading, but <laughs> it is what it is. This is the energy that uh, the cards are telling me to convey to you. And in here, with this Nine of Cups and the Magician, uh, the more that you're going to focus on your own inner and outside, also like the outside beauty, like anything that you wear, anything that it could be even perfume, anything that you um, put on yourself and you feel good about it, please prioritize that because it's uh, elevating your feminine energy as well. And uh, with this Nine of Cups, I see that the person that is meant for you with this Sun card is coming towards you effortlessly. So please focus again on yourself. Keep focusing on that because I feel like for many of you, this is something that you already are doing. <laughs> this is not <laughs> something new. But I really feel like uh, you have done again a great, great job. The people that are coming towards you are, I'm hearing, are better and better. Like, things are going to get better and better in terms of the quality of people that are going to be coming towards you. And this is also, I just want to re-emphasize on the fact that is, it's not only about your love life. It's not about the men. It's also about friendships, about opportunities. Like things are getting up in terms of quality. But I really feel like this is matching more specifically the quality of your thoughts. And really not misleading yourself and giving people a chance even if you feel like okay this route this itinerary is like there is there is a dead end why am i still walking on this path two of wands yeah i really feel like uh, at some point this is uh, i'm hearing this is a past energy at some point you have established a very great shift in terms of your energy I feel like maybe in the past you were more aggressive when it comes to your approach, but right now you are letting things come towards you and you are letting also yourself imagine how life could be for you. I'm hearing that there is great freedom in terms of your imagination that you are experiencing right now, which is something that is very positive. But I also feel like there is aggressiveness and there is rigidity and roughness, like this toughness or maybe this... Um, like stubbornness that is exits in your life if you have been focusing just on one person on one types of people in the past i feel like you are getting more and more flexible and getting or maybe in approaching the things that are good for you for the long run and not really just this crush energy that you are putting all kinds of expectations on i really feel like you have been dabbling in this energy for quite a bit but just to reassure you this is definitely something that is exiting your life all right so please focus on what we have said already because i really feel like this is like i'm hearing the last steps it's like someone that is almost at the top of the mountain like it, it, please continue on that because you're almost there <laughs> and this person they're gonna be doing all the steps necessary to approach you so you're not even gonna be worrying about that so please remember what we have seen here because i really feel like uh, <laughs> This is amazing. You're already like at the finale, at, at the end of this very long run. But I feel like in here, things are going to be starting with this beauty in the two of wands. Things are going to be starting to shift very greatly in your existence in a more physical, practical way. And this is something that you're definitely going to be appreciating. All right. So that was your reading, my dear option number one. If you would like your own private reading, you can book it directly through the website that I share in the description box. Let me know down below how the messages resonated with you. I'm sending you lots of love and I'll reconnect with you next time. Bye. Hello, my dear option number two. So if you have chosen the second option or the picture or the fish, welcome guys to your reading. So let's look into what kind of man do you attract right now as you are watching this reading. And of course, this is a timeless reading. Whenever you're watching it, this is exactly the energy that you're going to be in while you're watching the reading. So I really would like to start off this reading by letting you know that if you are stuck on someone in particular, I really feel like it could be an ex, it could be someone maybe that you haven't really developed a relationship with, uh, maybe someone that you like, maybe someone that you would like maybe to uh, like connect with romantically. The cards are telling you to let go. This is something that was very clear and very loud in my mind. Let go because I really feel like you are, <sighs> I'm hearing you're sabotaging a great life that you could be living right now, not tomorrow, not uh, next week, no right now like at this particular moment that you are watching this reading and you are keeping yourself i'm hearing you're saving yourself for someone that maybe they're not ready maybe they are not even like having the same kind of imagine like um, a vision on what you would like to have in the future i really feel like you are not seeing eye to eye when it comes to how things might develop for the both of you and the cards are telling you to open up to more options i really feel like when it comes to you the key word is 
not to get fixated on just one person, to focus more so on their actions. If someone is uh, portraying indirectly that they like you, then keep your options open until they make like a clear gesture or maybe they ask you out or they are very clear in terms of their verbal um, uh, like what they want from the both of you or how they imagine things for the both of you in a very direct way I feel like don't get yourself confused because I don't see that people really are having bad intentions but I really feel like when it comes to you you might meet people at phases in their lives where they're confused when they have when they have a lot of doubts and uh, the cards are telling you please don't invite that anymore don't invite that energy anymore into your life all right if someone's saying anything then take it for what it is if they're not saying anything then take it as there is nothing all right so let's see what kind of men are you attracting right now this is just like a side note i don't know why it came out but <laughs> it is what it is what kind of men do you attract right now? Five of Cups. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, uh, I need to be very, very, again, this is the key word, direct, very clear, very straight to the point. I need to be embracing this energy as well in this reading. Like, you attract takers. This is very clear from those cards. People see you as someone that is very serene someone that can heal them someone that can give them emotional stability and they are gravitating towards you like a moth to a flame i'm hearing so people that feel uh, hurt that feel heartbroken maybe you have met quite a bit of people that have uh, just went out of a relationship that was difficult or maybe that ha they had like bad breakups uh, the wounded wolves those are the people that you attract right now and we're gonna look in this is not a reading to let you know just what kind of people you attract but also how can you um hire the quality of people that are coming towards you and what can you do i also feel like when it comes to um like people that come towards you are people that really really um i'm hearing they ask a lot for your attention for your presence for your availability and when they are not in need for that, I'm hearing they say that maybe you are clingy or that you are too available or like it's, this is really very um, backwards. Like they see things from their own perspective and they don't have like for some of them, they don't even have the capacity to see things from other people's perspective. And this is something uh, very like they're kind of immature to be honest i really don't like this energy if you can tell <laughs> but we're going to look into how you can really uh, eliminate uh, what you don't want and welcome into your life exactly what you want something that's going to be as much as you are helpful to others they're going to be helpful to you encouraging supportive so this is really what you need you need safety in a connection in which you're going to sit down and know exactly what the other person uh, is thinking in terms of their intentions because I really feel like this is the energy of being wishy-washy wanting you not wanting you wanting to be around you not wanting to be uh, this is so infuriating I'm hearing like what the hell is this what can you do what can you do the world yeah if you sense confusion please close that down I'm hearing you are it's not that confusion is part of the connections that you are involved in but you are entertaining confusion this is what i see with those cards if you sense confusion if you sense that someone really as an example if you go to a place and you know that someone is looking at you is um uh, like uh, being uh, like having those googly eyes you can tell right away that they are attracted towards you and you feel like okay this person is not doing anything like what is going on and you keep thinking about them and you keep expecting maybe okay this time that we're gonna meet they're gonna say something okay this time they're gonna be doing something but they rarely do and what if if like uh, th this one percent chance if they do they uh, do something that is very minuscule that's something that does not match in any way shape or form your expectations and what i see in here is that if someone is uh, seizing me up if someone is having like um, is looking at me with 
like uh, those romantic eyes they can look it's okay but if they're not saying anything like i don't give an f <laughs> like your angels and guys are coming in here so strong and they're being very defensive uh, to be honest because this energy really is uh, almost like embodying my body like enveloping my all my my all <laughs> being and i really feel like when it comes to you your guys are telling you close that shit up close it up if someone is not coming towards you to ask you out directly in a very straightforward way then they do not exist even like they do not exist okay what is going to happen if you're going to be applying this um, this advice what is going to happen Love, love means action. What, what did we say? Please take a picture of this, or maybe write it down somewhere. This is what love. This is what love means. Okay, love means action. No action means no love. That's it. If someone is gonna be okay, telling you stuff, and almost insinuating that they like me it's not good enough it's not good enough goodbye i don't want to have this energy around me i don't want to waste my time and i don't want to waste the other person's time because i know at the end of the day this is not gonna go anywhere anyways like even if those people that are wishy-washy if you're gonna be in a relationship although like this is all about situationship kind of energy at the end of the day you're gonna end up exactly where you have started so why why bother why bother x o x o one more i miss you yeah to be honest it might shock you a little bit if you're going to be much more discerning in terms of um or the people that uh, you spend your time on, that you consider, that you think about. It might shock you just how far people can go uh, just to be with someone. And all sorts of reasons why you felt like maybe certain people did not, um, I'm hearing, did not meet your expectations. You're going to be like, um, it really was not, it, it wasn't the reason why they haven't tried. It's because I was so uh, I'm hearing my requirements when it comes to certain specific people they were not high enough so again if you have a crush if, if you know someone if you are talking with someone yeah if there is no specific offer then there is nothing so it's either there is an offer or there is nothing all right there is no in between the in between is gonna keep you here and this is not a good place to be in because those people really they are almost looking for a way through which they can heal themselves through a third person again maybe people that have been through a rough time let them do their healing on their own they don't need you you don't need them five of cups I really feel like with this five of cups this is like the general energy you feel like um, maybe it's something that has been around for quite a bit of time maybe it's a cycle that you have been uh, experiencing oh, sorry about that my loves the camera cut off and i had no idea <laughs> so i continued with the reading but it's very good it's a good thing that i i have actually noticed uh, before the reading ended so i wanted to give you some cards because with this card with the five of cups uh, five of pentacles i had the impression that for some of you maybe you are looking for uh, emotionally unavailable people and i wanted to give you maybe some help in terms of getting away from this energy or maybe just deal with it in a healthier way i really feel like when it comes to you you have perceived or maybe you have um, <coughs> i'm hearing you have witnessed not the healthiest connections around you uh, i'm hearing it from the time when you were younger when you were even like a child 
and I really feel like you need to uh, give yourself a little bit of hope and this hope could be uh, re-established through new connections that you can witness maybe in new environments if you have been connecting with people just within your family or within your social circle in, in your community I'm hearing get yourself outside of it and see what people what other people actually um, experience what kind of connections that they are, they are in like even like documentaries or movies or series that um, I'm hearing that um, re establish a new way through which two people can connect can help you greatly in re-establishing this hope so be hopeful my dear because i really feel like when it comes to you you are very empathic and a very gentle soul and when it comes to people that can perceive that obviously if they have uh, something that they need to deal with it, it's automatic for some people to just to reach out to get what they can get out of this empathic uh, energy but when it comes to you i really feel like the only thing in here that is needed from you to really elevate the quality of people that are around you and the people that you might be interested in all in all is first of all to have a little bit of hope that a good healthy connection is definitely i'm hearing again it's definitely possible for you the second thing is anyone that you meet anyone that you feel attracted towards please focus on their action if action does not exist then they don't exist i'm hearing point blank that's about it. So that that was your reading, my dear. Option number two. If you would like your own private reading, you can book it directly through the website that I share in the description box. Let me know down below how the messages resonated with you. <laughs> I'm sending you lots of love, and I will connect with you next time. Bye. Hello, my dear. Option number three. So if you have chosen the third option or the picture of the bonfire, welcome, guys. Your reading. So let's look into what kind of man are you attracting right now as you are watching this reading. And this is a timeless reading. So we gotta look into the energy of the people that you are attracting right now as you are watching it. And let's get some channeled messages first, and then we're gonna complement with some tarot and oracle cards. So the first thing that I've heard when it comes to you, my dear. Option number three is that your love life or maybe the people that you can that are attracted to you uh, the only thing that i see in my mind is um like a blank page a blank page i really feel like when it comes to the people that you attract they might be very diverse or they might be like from i'm hearing coming from different backgrounds or there is really no set um characteristic or maybe description when it comes to them but i really feel like what is coming out very strongly is how they perceive you or how they connect with you or the best way through which you can connect with the opposite sex of course if you are uh, I'm, I'm doing this reading for people that are attracted to men <laughs> you could be like a man or a woman it doesn't matter but i really feel like when it comes to you uh, there is great uh, powers of establishing friendships, establishing connections that are for the long run. And I really feel like if you have been feeling, a if you had a little bit of trouble in your love life, maybe you have been focusing on getting on with someone romantically straight away. But I really feel like when it comes to you and when it comes to your energy, the best way through which you can approach connecting with another person is through first of all con so what i was saying is that if you have been having any sorts of trouble in terms of your love life uh, maybe you have been trying to go directly towards a romantic connection and i really feel like in terms of your energy it's not very much advisable because i feel like the best kind of connections that you might be in is are ones that are going to be starting off just being lighthearted, being more so on the friendship level or just connecting with each other for the even if there are certain romantic feelings at the beginning really starting to know uh, the other person before getting really involved with them in anything that's um, in a relationship or anything of the sort so let's look into what kind of people you are attracting what kind of men very loving very sweet i'm hearing also those people actually uh, perceive you as someone that is uh, definitely wise you know what you're doing this you also are someone that is highly uh, determined uh, a high achiever someone also that they can count on i also feel like when it comes to 
what kind of people you are attracting all in all generally speaking i feel like there is like two types of people like it could be people really that respect you and would like to match your energy but there are other people maybe that uh, also are attracted towards you people that want to be led want to be uh, i'm hearing want you to be like the one that is um, making all the decisions but i really feel like you are attracting both those categories not just one or the other and the second thing that i see in here is that uh, people see you as someone that is very good in terms of your decision making and also that you can actually uh, give great advice that's what i really feel like when it comes to you the more that you're gonna know someone the better the chances for the both of you actually to be in a very very beautiful connection if certain things maybe if you have been in connections that were like uh like uh went out for a minute like you went out for like a very short time and then things fizzle out very rapidly i really feel like this is something that is definitely going to be helping you is to take things a little bit slow especially in terms of establishing a basis through which you're going to connect with someone romantically not just uh, going out for dates but also like connecting with others through some sort of a third energy it could be like a third thing that you're going to do with each other it could be an, an activity a hobby like those things really really are going to be helping you to uh, better the quality of people that you're going to be connecting with and also having great i'm hearing great options like uh, great people very wholesome people i'm hearing family people people that uh like are uh I'm hearing very productive in the community, but I really feel like if you detect that certain people really are not uh, in their uh, grown up, I'm hearing uh, they don't have their grown up pants, then uh, you have the power to actually perceive them. And I know that uh, it's something that uh, comes easier to you because you have the powers also of clarity you see things very clearly so if there are certain people that are coming towards you maybe to count on you to make the like all sorts of decisions in your uh, connection uh, i'm hearing that you know you know who they are <laughs> and that's why uh, i really feel like it's going to be very helpful to you to start knowing people before actually going on dates or before like advancing more on a romantic basis so let's get some more cards who are the people that you uh, attract ace of swords I'm hearing brutally honest, and it's something that is coming out in here as very positive. I'm hearing when it comes to you, you're not really someone that um, focuses too much on like the outside appearance, but I really feel like there is something else that is more valuable to you. It's something that has to do with. Uh, I'm hearing seeing eye to eye when it comes to certain things that are very important. Uh, in your life in your future in like in when it comes to your principles and i feel like it's going to be very uh helpful to you to take those desires that you have seriously because i really feel like this is like actually a very very good thing so if you feel that okay maybe um excuse me i have uh like my as an example my standards are too high or maybe i should see, see uh, or perceive things differently i really feel like it, there's just a doubt that is not coming from you but maybe from people that are around you maybe from your society especially if you are living in a place where dating is just like out of out of hand <laughs> in terms of going with someone without knowing anything about them and just getting involved with them i really feel like this is not something that is going to give you a uh, fulfillment for the long run and i also feel like you are going to be missing out on um i'm hearing i'm hearing high value kind of connections connections that you're going to be uh i'm hearing remembering with uh i'm hearing having fond memories about uh, and the second thing that i see in here is that uh, even if you're going to be breaking up with like someone that you're going to know greatly in the future uh, i feel like uh, it, it's going to be something that is going to be more peaceful there's not going to be no hard feelings uh, afterwards this is uh, a very you are very mature <laughs> this is very clear and i also feel like you have the potential to perceive maturity and immaturity but you need a little bit of time and this is something that is very normal give yourself that time all right give yourself the time to know people sorry i 
I miss here. Let's get one third card, the third one. Spending time together, yeah. If someone just, you know, you know the deal. If someone just calls you after 10 p.m., I'm hearing a hookup culture, and I'm not saying that's for all of you. I feel like hookup culture does not good, does not suit you at all does not suit you at all so if you have been maybe dabbling in this way of connecting with others i really feel like this is not something that is going to be helping you for the long run at all the second thing is that even if other people suit them and they feel very good in those kind of connections and maybe they met someone and they got married and everything was fine for them it does not mean that it's going to be the same for you so you really need this stability in the right way through which you can connect with someone. I also feel like if you have an account with through which you can meet new people more officially and more formally, this is also something that is very much advisable. I'm hearing if you go to church, maybe through church, or if you have certain activities that you do, or if you would like to do activities to meet new people, this is going to be absolutely great. <laughs> Because you need to do something with a group of people or with someone and get to know them like li little by little, not really rush into things or maybe go directly in a connection like straight away. All right. If someone is going to be telling you, and this is just for the few of you that maybe are against uh, blind dates, I'm hearing why not? Like if someone is going to be telling you that they know someone that is single, that is a great guy, why not? You can just meet them and see what they're all about and then the decision is going to be yours afterwards. So please don't close your mind when it comes to more traditional ways through which you can meet other people. Because I feel like when it comes to you, you have this grounded energy that matches those kind of encounters wonderfully. All right. Yeah, <laughs> you are the empress. <laughs> and the empress needs to be, need, this is the energy that needs to be courted, that needs to be, uh, I'm hearing really, really have depth when it comes to your connections, they're very good, uh, but they need a little bit of depth before they're going to be transformed into a romantic one. And what kind of men that you are attracting all in all, like uh, people really that look up to you, this is something that's very clear. Also people that see you as someone that is going to be going, I'm hearing she's going places, or they're, or they're going places if you are a man watching this reading. People see their your potential, uh, not that you're not, you don't see your own. I really feel like you know that. <laughs> you know, you know yourself. Yeah, the fool. So again, going back to the main message that we have seen when it comes to your reading, you attract towards you two categories of people. People that perceive um, your high standards, that perceive your high quality, I'm hearing. So there are two, uh, the first type of people is people that are going to be pulling up an act and um, telling you that, okay, that they can match your energy and you discover afterwards that it was not true. And people that truly can match this energy very effortlessly and very naturally. And the only thing for you really, because I feel like in here you are very, very, very smart. <laughs> you know yourself, you know how to vet people, you know how to actually select the right ones for you. You just need a little bit of time. It's going to be very clear for you, the people that are matching your own energy that you have established and worked on and people that are maybe not quite there. They're not there yet. All right. Anything else about the people that or the men that you are attracting? For some of you, it could be into same sex connections. It is the, the exact same, I'm hearing it's the exact same uh, advice or messages that I'm hearing for you. It's the same thing. Get to know others. Yeah, I really feel like when it comes to you, like, um, you know, Tinder, uh, relationships, or maybe hookup uh, apps, this is not something that is going to be really uh, allowing you to be in a fulfilling connection. And uh, I really feel like even if things might start off as being very good, uh, things might be like short-lived again. And the only thing that I see in here is for you to be much more in real life, connecting with people doing real things, as in maybe uh, joining a volleyball group, 
joining uh, like the walking people that walk on the weekends or maybe people that play board games, people that do something, maybe golfing, whatever the case might be, anything really that you feel like, I, re I really would love to learn more about this thing or maybe if you have a hobby, even if you have a hobby that you can do on your own, start looking for ways through which you can get involved with other people doing something that you like. As an example, if you like hiking, how about joining a group that you can hike with and not hike on your own? All right. So this is really something that is going to be greatly helpful to you. So that was your reading, reading option number three. Thank you for being here. If you would like your own private reading, you can book it directly through the website that I share in the description box. Let me know down below how the messages resonated with you. I'm sending you lots of love and I will connect with you next time. Bye.